It is time for part 3 of the ultimate note-taking app tier list and I will need to speed this up a little bit because I want to get it finished within like uh, 3 parts and 10 to 15 minutes. So let's start off with OneNote. I honestly think OneNote is really underrated. I would place it above uh, things like both Mem and uh, Microsoft Loop. Uh, so I think this is C tier. I would say that uh, it fits C tier. Uh, if you're just in the Microsoft ecosystem, I think this is your best choice. If you use uh, Outlook, if you use Microsoft to do, if you are within the Microsoft ecosystem, I don't think there is a better note-taking app choice. But like um, in general, I would say that this is more of a C tier application. One quick thing I just wanted to mention. So. I uh, talked about Walling, and Walling has since the first video I released actually uh, updated or said that they are going to update their application. So there is an update coming. Uh, just uh, keep that in mind. The same goes for Mem. They have said that uh, Mem 2.0 will come in uh, 20, early 2025. So uh, just keep that in mind. Next up, we have Notes Nook. This is a heavily like privacy focused application. Uh, I would call this uh, like uh, an alternative alternative to something like Evernote. Uh, I don't think it is as good as uh, these applications that are uh, on the A tier list, but I think it's better than many of the applications we see at uh, C tier list. So I am actually. Uh, at C in the tier list uh, was what I was going to say, but I'm actually going to place this in B tier. I think it deserves uh, the place right here. I uh, think it's a good stable application uh, uh, with a heavily focus on uh, privacy, which is really important to a lot of people. Next up, we have LogSec, and LogSec is one of the best applications out there. I really like this application. It has a lot of great features, especially for students, things like flashcards. It is super versatile. I wouldn't say that it is at the level of something like Obsidian uh, or even Heptabase, even though this has whiteboards as well. So I, I think this is an A tier. I think this is probably one of the best A tier uh, applications on this list. Next up, we have Anytype, and Anytype has developed a bit this year. They've released their uh, pricing plan, um, but uh, lately I've been struggling with a lot of bugs in this application. I've struggled with import-export. Uh, I have struggled with the application not wanting to update. There have been uh, a lot of uh, issues like that, and it is still at an early stage. Like, the full product isn't even out yet. This is a beta product we are testing out. Uh, so I would say that this is a D tier application out of like the new ones with Tama and even um, uh, even uh, capacities. I think this, as of right now, is the worst one. I did a video where I said that Tama was the worst one because Tama didn't have a mobile application. Since then, things have changed. Tama now has uh, a mo mobile application for uh, iOS. Uh, so. I think this is D tier just because of all of the bugs I've been experiencing lately. It might just be me, but uh, it is really hard to put an application higher when it is like struggling with uh, so many bugs, especially uh, because those bugs have been really annoying to me and a project I was working on. So uh, I may be a little extra biased because of that. Next up we have Notion and there isn't much to be said about Notion. I think this is an S tier application with the databases, with everything it offers. I still think it lacks a few things, but I would say that all of the applications on here lacks uh, something. So I definitely think this is S tier. Let's do Workflowy. I think Workflowy is an amazing application. Again, a really underrated one. Uh, it is a great outliner. I love the mirror things ability. So with all of that, uh, I think it is better than something like Tana, which also is an outliner. I think it is at the level of LogSec. So I'm actually going to put this as 
an A tier application. It might feel simple, but this also feels like an application that will grow with you. Next up, we have a uh, Squintle, and I like the idea of Squintle. I think uh, I actually like the idea of Squintle much more than I like the idea of Heptabase. Uh, I like the blend between how it uh, how it works with files and images and also works great with text. So I would call this a blend between something like Melanote and Heptabase. One thing I am struggling with is the lack of a mobile application. And even though they released their new like playground for the mine, I think that's what it's called on uh, the new version of Squintle. Uh, they released that uh, only a couple of months ago. Uh, this application has actually been around for a while now, and I wish they could at least have a capture application so we could capture things on the go. Uh, they have AI, which is great, but honestly, what does AI help me with when I can't capture whenever I have an idea? It is just so important to me personally to have an uh, to have a mobile application. So I am, I am actually going to drag this down a little bit. I think it is better than um, better than any type, but worse than something like Tama. So it goes in C tier. Uh, App Flowy is a really cool application. I think like this has been one I haven't tested out extensively. So this is a really hard one. I have spent uh, at least 10 hours inside of the application, but uh, I don't think that's enough uh, to give it a good like opinion. Out of my testing and with the experience I've had with the application, I think this is a B tier application. I think that it tries to be like an open source notion, and I still think that it has a while to go before it is at the level of many of the of the other applications, but it is more stable than a lot of the applications you see down here. Next up we have CUM notes and I'm still not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly, uh, but it is a note-taking application really similar to Obsidian. It is Chinese. I have, I think it's Chinese. Uh, I have done quite a few videos on it. They've released things like databases lately. They also have a plugin system just like Obsidian. I think that it is a really good application, but I think that the learning curve on this actually drags it down. And I often say that Obsidian has a huge learning curve or object-based note-taking has a huge learning curve. This uh, application right here is one of the hardest ones to learn. At least it has been that for me personally. Next up, we have a bullet. This is a bullet journaling application. And I think this is C tier. Um, this is... Like, this isn't the best note-taking app if you're looking for, like, a pure uh, note-taking app like you have in OneNote, like you have in Reflect or Obsidian. This is a bullet journaling app to take quick bullet journal uh, notes to track your task, things like that, but also to track what uh, in bullet journal is called uh, custom collections. So... Uh, because it is so simple, I am going to give it a C tier. Uh, this also is an application I haven't tested out extensively, uh, but out of my testing, I think C tier is okay for an application like this. Coda, I often call the more uh, powerful Notion. This is an amazing application. It has a huge learning curve to it, but honestly, uh, I still think it is a little bit easier than something like CUM Notes. Uh, and also, there are a lot of great uh, YouTube videos to watch. I think this is an S tier application. I think. I often say that it is a more powerful version of Notion, that only like major difference here is that uh, this is more tailored towards businesses, while this can be used by students and uh, and uh, and uh, for personal use as well, much more than Coda. Uh, so that is the difference between Notion and Coda, and I think Coda really deserves uh, the S tier spot. Remnote is a great application. If you are a student, uh, it is also a great note-taking experience. I personally am not uh, a big fan of outliners, so that is why I don't like it. But um, 
as an outliner, I think it is at the level of something like Logsec, like Workflowy, like CROD Notes. I think it deserves to be here. But uh, like if I were looking for applications just for students, I think this would be an S tier application. But as of uh, right now and with this video and all of the great applications and the fact that I'm only thinking about them as note taking experiences, I think this application is uh, A tier right now. Next up we have uh, Luna Tasks and this is an all-in-one application and as an all-in-one application I think this is one of the best ones but as a pure note-taking app the note-taking abilities are really really simple. Uh, there isn't much to it uh, actually uh, but it gives you a place to take uh, notes and uh, it allows you to store those notes together with everything else. That is like the selling point. You can have your tasks, calendar blocking, journal, habits, everything in one place. But as a note taking experience, I would say that this is C tier. It is better than these ones down here because it is stable uh, and it works quite well, but it doesn't have enough features for it to be up here. We have two more left. Uh, this is Zenkit Hyper Notes, uh, which is a really fun application. Uh, I've tested this out a couple of times and made videos about that. And I think this is actually a really good and underrated application. So I will put it in B tier. So last application, and I think we will be able to finish this within 13 minutes. And one of the reasons why I went so fast to uh, many of them is because this one right here is a little difficult. This is, think of this as Notion, just uh, with uh, the ability to add uh, whiteboards and the fact that those whiteboards are interactive with your pages. Uh, I think this is a really good application. Uh, when I tested it out, uh, it still had a few bugs. So it was around six to eight months ago when I really jumped into the application and played around with it. Uh, but uh, I would say that the idea here is like one of the best ideas I've seen in a note taking app. But I would say that the note taking experience as of my testing, uh, I tried it out a little bit a couple of weeks ago. I think it has gotten a lot better from when I first tested it out, but I honestly do not think this is much more than B tier personally, at least not right now. I think this can also quickly become one of the top applications. And one thing to keep in mind with all of these applications, I haven't even covered all of them, like things like Noti isn't included here. There are many applications that I haven't actually included here because just with my videos uh, and the things I've included, we have three parts around 50 minutes each part. So um, one thing to just keep in mind is that we can't have this many note taking applications. Some of these uh, will not uh, live a couple of years from now. Some of these won't be around a couple of years from now. Uh, and that is just something uh, I'm thinking a lot about lately that we might have too many applications. So it will be exciting to see how these applications develop. And as usual, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video and all of the different parts. And also remember that these are my personal thoughts. Thank you so, so much for watching.